Hi, it's Wayne from Adreno. I'm with Travis from Aimright International and we're here to do some work on it and do a bit of a demonstration. We have here the uh, Aimright Fury and what is the Fury? Uh, so the Fury is um, a new model of gun that we've brought out uh, to simplify our range but also beef up uh, the abilities uh, to suit the Australian market. So the Pro Comp and the Comp which are uh, discontinued uh, have been replaced with the Fury which can actually run a 7.5mm shaft due to the fact that we've beefed up the barrel from 2mm to 2.8mm uh, to suit you know, the Australian conditions a lot better. So today we're going to put a roller head on the Fury barrel to help you guys be able to work with this at home. But first let's have a look at the, the, the setup with the rubbers. So we've got a, a couple of little knots here. Now what's, what's this uh, insert here? What do you have yeah, here? Yeah, so with the Aimright range of rubbers, we actually make uh, bridle inserts, um, which is a piece of uh, small uh, Dyneema or Spectra, um, and it has a bead on it also to prevent it from popping out. Uh, the reason we make the loops is so that you can interchange the bridles, um, but, you know, because the first thing that's going to wear out is probably your bridle from sliding down the shaft. So, yeah, the bridles can be replaced easily without having to cut uh, the knots on your rubber or anything like that. Okay, now you had a little formula on working out the lengths of the, the bridle and the cheetah bridle. Yeah, so to keep it consistent through our whole range, all the bridles from knot to knot are measured at 10 centimetres and the cheetah bridles are at 30. Let's have a look at the knot that we introduced the bridle to the insert here. We put the bridle, it's got a knot on the end and it's already been melted so that it doesn't pull out. We slip it through the insert here and it goes round the base and then back through itself. Okay, so to tie the cheetah bridle uh, onto your setup, it's just a simple granny knot that goes round the base through and pulls tight. Uh, we find 30 centimetres of 2mm spectra is pretty perfect for something to grip onto. Not too big, not too small. And then same around the other one, just a simple granny knot around there, pull it nice and tight and there you have it, that's your load assist which will actually help you load the gun a lot easier. The next step is to put the roller head into the barrel. We have here the Aimright roller head, this was developed by Aimright, it's a really solid construction, it's got, uh, if you want to beef up the power a bit, it has got bushes put into it to enable you to do so. Uh, we're going to fit it in here. Now the important thing about fitting this muzzle into this barrel is getting it straight with the, with the rail. If we don't get it straight, it's going to shoot wrong. You can see on the, on the actual muzzle here, we've got a small bit of tape. And this is just to help you get a nice tight fit in the, inside the barrel. You can use electrical tape. So the idea is you get it in here and you just bring it in slowly. Don't force it or bang it or anything like that, it doesn't need it because the barrel's made for it. The idea now is to get it exactly right. So you just move it back and forth and you've got a couple of uh, high points that you can um, judge the muzzle to the barrel. So you just move it so that it gets bang in between those. And then you also want to look down at like so to make sure it's straight. I always like to let the customer have a look too. Happy. Good, good. All right, so the next step is we're going to drill through. Now, we've got one already prepared for us. It's got the holes through this and also in the muzzle. The important thing here is it's got to be a sharp drill. And uh, it's no good taking a drill that you've been putting through concrete and trying to put it through. It's very sharp and it's a nice, fast action. But once you've drilled that hole, then it's really straightforward putting the screw in. I like to finish it up with a normal screwdriver just to get it to bite down tight without actually going overboard. And you don't need to screw it in so it, it can't be budged. It just needs to bite down and then a touch more. So the next step is to put the rubbers on. How would you go about that, Travis? Um, easiest thing I find is, like Wayne's done, on a flat bench, um, probably just hang the muzzle uh, over, makes it easier. And then simply just bring the rubbers from underneath up through 
and that way you're working with the rubbers on top or they're underneath the gun but yeah you're working with them much easier and then it's just another matter of another piece of Dyneema uh, put a little bit of pre-tension on the bands thread it through the handle uh, we like to go through the handle keeps things nice and simple and also keeps it out of the way when you attach a reel um, and then it's just a matter of just like we threaded the bridle on earlier just put the tension on thread this through which I'll I may as well do it, just like that, around the base, through itself, and just slowly release that tension. Check it on top, and there you have it. That's your rubbers installed. Nice and simple. So that we have it, we hear a bit of talk about pre-tension. How much is needed? Um, I guess every manufacturer is different. Uh, we like to run shorter bands with five centimetres of pretension. We find that if you're running, you know, between 20 or around that 10, 20 centimetre margin, your, your rubbers will perish a lot quicker because they're under tension. Um, we like to run shorter rubbers, maximum stretch, 350%. Um, we find that's very effective for our range. Is there a formula on the length of the rubber? Um, the easiest way to work out your rubber length for the size of your gun is uh, work out your anchor point, which will be the, this part here, um, and then it's just running a piece of string up over the rollers and back down to your first notch and divide that by 3.5. It's Wayne here from Adreno and Travis from Aimright International. The Aimright roller heads are available. You can get them online at adreno.com.au or you can come into our stores in Brisbane or Sydney. Do it yourself at home or we could do it for you. Thanks for watching this episode of Adreno's How To Videos. If you'd like to view more videos, just click here. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel by simply clicking on the subscribe button here. To purchase these products, stop in at one of our store locations in Brisbane or Sydney or visit us online at spearfishing.com.au.